Hello, I'm Lisa from Realizat and I'm sitting here with Mark Janssen from Maya. Yeah. Your show starts in nearly an hour. Are you excited? Absolutely. It's been a while that we that we yeah, played our last show. And uh, so it's about time again. Yeah. How did you come to farm? Uh, by car. <laughs> I mean, uh, did they ask you or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they invited us and they, they told us about uh, the, the concept, about the idea and uh, yeah, we, we thought it was a cool uh, festival to play, so we said yes. What are your impressions to this moment? I haven't seen anything yet, uh, just arrived and uh, just ate, that was good. And uh, what I heard from our sound engineers that they put really nice atmosphere in the, in the venue. So, I think it looks really cool, but I haven't seen it myself yet. Okay, and um, with Epica you have your guitar, and with Mayan you only have your voice. Um, is it hard to uh, keep your hands still all the time? <laughs> um, yeah, but when you sing, you can still use your hands with, with expressions and everything. In the beginning, it uh, I had to get used to it, yeah. But uh, now I. I I really like the variation that sometimes uh, with, with Epica play the guitar, and that's what I feel the most comfortable with. But it's also fun to sometimes have no guitar and to get the crowd going and uh, have some more freedom. And uh, but I like both. But uh, but like I said, uh, in Epica, that's my natural state. That's uh, what I'm used to, and this is just to to uh, to yeah express myself in a different way. Laura and Henning were at first only um, guests, and now they are uh, singers of Mayan. Um, how did it develop? Uh, yeah, first we, we started more like a, like a project, but then we, we started touring, we became a real band, and it felt also really good to have these guys with us, and uh, then we thought, J let's just uh, ask them if they want to join the band, and then it also feels more like a real band instead of a project. And that's why we also recorded uh, the second album with them as well. And uh, yeah, that feels good to have it this way, yeah. Laura is not only um, your singer, but your girlfriend. Um, does it influence your work? No, because we, uh, we're both very professional and uh, uh, we, we do these things exactly, uh, we, we treat each other the same way in the band like any other person in the band. And uh, we keep private life separate from being in a band, so well, that works well. And I think as long as you don't do too an intense touring, it works works fine this way. I wouldn't like to be to have a relationship in the band if the band would be touring all the time all over the world, because then uh, then it's very hard to keep private life and uh, the band <laughs> separated. Yeah, um, you're writing nearly all texts. Um, how and they are very critical. How important are the lyrics for Maya? Yeah, in general, for me, lyrics are always very important. So, in Epica, but also in Maya, uh, lyrics need to be as good as possible because I think uh, for those people that are interested in the lyrics, you should give yourself 100% to to uh, write good lyrics. And uh, I think the music gives a certain atmosphere, and then when you create lyrics that fit well to that atmosphere, uh, if you really work well and hard on it, then you get a, a great end result. And that's what we uh, try to do with mine as well. It's, uh, we, we create the music and then I start writing the lyrics, and I always focus myself 100%. And, uh, I also feel really empty when I'm finished with the lyrics because the, I put all my energy in it. And when you feel very empty afterwards, then you know that you give yourself for the full 100% to write good lyrics. How did the band name Mayan and your lyrical themes, actual uh, political themes, um, belong together? Um, it's a little bit because Mayan is n yeah, yeah. in the past and. Yeah, because uh, we, we were looking for a, for a band name and, and Mayan was the name that is short, it is catchy, people can re remember it. And uh, personally I'm very fascinated by the Mayan culture and so are Chuck and Frank. They, they also visited the Mayan pyramids. And uh, lyric-wise, to, to, to write about Mayan themes fit less well to the music than, uh, 
than the, the political statements we, we write. So even though it's, it's, uh, it would be more uh, obvious to write about the Mayan civilization, it, it didn't give me the right feeling compared with yeah, when I was listening to the music. So um, yeah, the, the, the name is just to have a name out of our fascination, our personal fa uh, fascination for the Mayan culture. But the lyrics are for what fit to the, to the music the best. On the song Enemies of Freedom, you have the, uh, a quote at the beginning. Um, what does it um, mean? What are the meanings? Yeah, that was uh, it's, uh, about the, 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 the gun law in the, uh, in the United States of America. Because there are some uh, people who are against it and some people who want to fight for it and keep the law like it is. And uh, the thing is, in America, it's a, it's a right to own a gun. It's already a very old law, and it's uh, very important for people who want to feel the freedom to de defend themselves. And they say, if you take away our right to own a gun, the government would be able to do whatever they want to control us. And uh, of course, when we in Europe, we are not used to have this law and, and buying a gun. And from, from Europe, we have the tendency to see it as a bad thing, because we think all these killings in America, we say, oh, that's because they can have a gun, so they can buy a gun so easily. But it, when you start reading about the, the pros and cons and about the, the people who are uh, against it and, and people who fight for it, then you start understanding also both sides. So we wrote this song, with a, not with, with an uh, own opinion, but giving both views of this, uh, of this subject. And that's why this, this guy uh, in the beginning, he says you can only uh, stop a bad guy with a gun if you get a good guy with a gun to stop him. And uh, that's how, that's already tells the whole theme of the song and, and that's how it starts. <laughs> okay, and you, um, you uh, said something about the danger of a monitoring state. Um, do you think uh, that safety arguments are just um, excuses? <laughs> <laughs> the safety arguments just excuses from the politicians to control uh, people sometimes yes uh, so yeah I think you cannot say in general that all safety measures are to control people because some are obviously also good but sometimes it's it's used to uh, push laws to uh, just in order to yeah get things done and, and control people. Like for example, uh, after 9-11, uh, there were so many restrictions with flying and everything. And uh, I personally think that not everything was really needed. And for example, if you buy, if you yeah, just have, have a water, you cannot bring it with you uh, after the security check. And then there you, you have to pay three euro 50 for a silly bottle of water. And this, these kind of things, I think it's uh, insane. And such kind of things really bothering me. And uh, there's always a balance between uh, what's really needed and uh, to, yeah, for the people to feel comfortable. And I think this balance is now not yet restored. What do you think about social media? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing that people are more easily uh, connected to each other, but it's also, yeah, sometimes it uh, brings also people too close to each other. For example, uh, criticism, people nowadays they think they can write and say whatever they want. Of course, we have uh, freedom of speech, but people get mad right away, write whatever comes to their mind. and that can sometimes really hurt, I, I don't say personally to me, but also to, to others. People don't think anymore, they just uh, yeah, act right away, and I think that's, that's a big disadvantage of social media. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, I Isaac left Mayan after quarter past, but he uh, came back for Insano with his acoustic guitar. How did this come? Yeah, he said, uh, and, and uh, he has also, he's very busy with, with managing. Uh, besides Epica, he's, he's also doing some management tasks, not only for Epica, but also for other bands. 
and uh, so he he didn't really left, but uh, he said I, I cannot do this 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 touring, and uh, so we asked him uh, because he's a really great uh, guitar player. Can you play the acoustic uh, guitar for the song? And yeah, he said uh, no problem. So yeah, in a way, of course, he left, but. Uh, it was not like a uh, dramatic uh, departure or, or whatever. Uh, whatever. It was just, yeah, he, he didn't find the time anymore. And, and uh, it's very complex material, Mayan. So uh, you have to, for, for, like for this show, when you play uh, the guitar, you have to study really hard, like one week, to, to study all the songs again, so especially after yeah, a while when we didn't play. And yeah, it's very time consuming. and. Uh, so for him, it was simply not possible anymore. Flora was on your um, antagonize again, and will she be back for other tracks in the future? We don't know yet. We, we have to, to start writing the next album still, and uh, we also don't know when we start writing, who will be exactly singing on it. Um, yeah, we, we just don't know yet. But there will be another album? Probably, sooner or later. I, I, I don't know when. But, uh, and I don't know if for sure, because we, we simply don't know yet. Mm -hmm. But my feeling says there will be another album, but it can take uh, three years, five years, seven years, I don't know yet. Okay, at this time you're touring with Epica. Um, will there be another Mayan tour after that? Yeah, this, it's very time consuming also the touring with Epica, so we, we don't really have a time to, to do a tour with Mayan, so we do like uh, sh uh, yeah, incidental shows like this one, because that's possible to squeeze in uh, the, the heavy tour touring schedule of Epica. But uh, if there ever is a chance, and if ever Epica is taking it easy, then for sure we will step in and uh, do some some more touring with Mayan. But as long as uh, Epica is uh, on the road uh, like this, there, there won't be a chance for a uh, for Mayan tour. Yeah, last question. Um, Antagonize has a very straight line, and you say um, doing Antagonize. So, um, what do people do, in your opinion? I, you, um, what can we do? What can we do about what? Against um, political. Um oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, the reality is we cannot do that much. <laughs> But what, what we can do is uh, contributing a little stone to the, to the mountain. And uh, every little stone can make, in the end, a, a difference. So it's not that one individual can change the world. But uh, if somebody tells a, tells a story or an opinion and somebody else starts thinking about it and uh, also tells his opinion, then you can have this uh, uh, yeah, continuation and in the end, like, yeah, make the difference. Do we have last words? Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, too. Most of the time, your lyrics are about. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, your lyrics are about political themes, um, lying politicians, and so on. How did it? Um, um, <laughs> I just start again with that with that question. On the. Um, so sorry. On the song. <laughs> um, of the guy that is talking in the beginning? Um, yeah, of course. Only, uh, only a good guy. 
Yeah, Only good band of <laughs> Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, you cannot say in general that all safety uh, things are. Hello. Yes, interview going on. <laughs> Yeah, you're standing in the. <laughs> but we we continue when uh, when you finish. No problem. Welcome, welcome, drummers. Guitarist.